Hello, and welcome back. We're going to get right into it. When we're talking about working inside of Excel, there's a lot of different things that that can mean. It can mean we're going to be typing a bunch of stuff into a spreadsheet. It can mean that we're analyzing reports as they're coming out of a database. It can also mean taking lots of reports from lots of different places and consolidating them into one small spot. The benefit to this, of course, is that we don't have to manually do it ourselves if we know how to do it. In this particular instance, I'm looking at database outputs for my Connecticut division, my Maine division, my New Hampshire division, and between all three of those, they're all tabulating the same things, software, training, maintenance, and miscellaneous expenditures for quarters one through four. What I'd like to do is take all of these reports from all of these different sources and consolidate them here into the all division summary. So let's go ahead and take this opportunity to do just that. The first thing we're going to need to do is start here from the summary page where we'd like the output to be. We're gonna go ahead and highlight all of these empty fields from item down to the zero at the bottom of quarter four totals. We're gonna highlight all of this because we'd like to maintain this structure from all of the different outputs. Now that we've highlighted these empty fields, go ahead and find the Consolidate Data tool. This can be found inside the Data tab on the far right-hand side with the word Consolidate. Find that Consolidate tool and give it a click. The first thing it's going to be asking for is what kind of function are we using? In this case, because we're consolidating all of these individual items into a single division summary, we're going to be summing. The next thing it's asking for is our first reference. We'll go ahead and start in Connecticut. Our first reference is going to include all of the heading items down to and including the quarter four totals. Once you've highlighted all of that, go ahead and click Add. And that will add Connecticut and all of those fields to the reference field. Let's go ahead and jump over to Maine for the next one. Conveniently, those dancing ants continue to remain exactly where we want them. So all I have to do now is click Add again. One last time, New Hampshire. Once again, everything is exactly where I need it to be. Of course, you want to double check that to be the case every single time. And we're going to go ahead and click Add. Having pulled from all three resources, in this case, Connecticut, Maine, and New Hampshire, all we've got to do now is determine where to use the labels from. And in this case, the labels exist in the top row as well as the left column, so both will be checkboxed. Once we've got everything up and running, verify that all references are in place, we're going to go ahead and click OK to lock this in. And just like that, everything has been consolidated into my all division summary from all three worksheets. We can verify by going to Connecticut and let's say for quarter one software. Connecticut pulled 200. Maine, 400, that's 600 total. So New Hampshire must have 200. Coming out to 800 total. Check it out, that's pretty cool. Go ahead and take this opportunity to try it out for yourself. Once again, the way we got here was starting by highlighting where we'd like the output to be. We then turned on the Consolidate tool. From here, we selected each individual reference and clicked Add for each of the three state divisions. From there, we told it which labels to use, in this case, the top and left column, and then clicked OK. Go ahead and try that for yourself.